I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will share with you a very good strategy which can always be used for solving equations. The strategy is to use inverse operation. We may say reverse operation also, right? Inverse of plus will be minus, inverse of multiplication will be division, inverse of minus will be plus and inverse of division will be multiplication right so that ways they nullify each other's effect and so they help us to solve the equations so here are a few examples the first one is 40 equals to something plus 25 we need to find what that thing is and then we have another equation with minus the next one is with product times then by division and then we have taken up example of adding fractions or multiplying on both the sides. So that is kind of a variety of questions which we will solve in this video and that will help you to understand that this inverse operation strategy can be applied in most of the equations to solve. Let's begin with the very first one which is 40 equals to something plus 25. Now what is that thing? We could find by doing inverse of plus 25 that is we'll do 40 take away 25 to get the answer you get the idea so when you take away 25 from 40 you get this number so this number is borrow 1 from 4 you get 10 and 3 take away 2 is 1 so you get the number 15 here right so we get 15 if you add 15 and 25 you can check right so let us check 15 plus 25 is indeed 40, right? So it works. Let's do the next one. In this case, something take away 8 is 20. So that thing should be, that number should be greater than 20 by 8. We could get that number by doing the inverse of minus 8. That is to say, we'll do 20 plus plus 8 right so inverse of minus 8 is plus 8 when you add you get 28 so let me write 28 here once you write 28 it's a good idea to check so it is 28 minus 8 does give us 20 that is correct next one here is 32 times 32 equals to something times 4 what is that thing we could divide by 4 inverse of multiplication is division so we'll do 32 divided by 4 right so when you divide 32 by 4 you get 8 so this number should be 8 we can try what is 8 times 4 equals to it is indeed 32 it works so now here when i write 12 equals to something divided by 6 what should i do i should multiply by 6 correct so I should do 12 times 6 to get my answer, which should fit in here. 6 times 2 is 12, 1, and 6 times 1, 6 plus 1 is 7. So it should be 72. As an exercise, you should check what is 72 divided by 6. It is indeed 12, okay? Now here in fractions, do the same thing. 1 plus what is 2 over 5? So we say 1 what is inverse of plus minus the number 2 over 5 that should give you 5 minus 2 which is 3 over 5 correct so 3 over 5 is the answer for this one which you can check 3 plus 2 is 5 5 over 4 5 is 1 now here we have 2 times 9 equals to something times 6 so let's divide by 6 so we get 2 times 9 divided by 6 to fill in here. So that gives you 3 and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So this number should be 3. So as you saw in this video, that all these equations, variety of them, could all be solved using inverse operation. So you can always use inverse operation to solve any equation in general. I am Anil Kumar and I hope you appreciate this strategy. You can always subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.